Welcome back grade threes, lovely to see you. This is me Liz, back with your maths lesson for the day. So um, I hope you're going to enjoy it. We're going to do something a little bit new today. Um, so let's get on with it, shall we? Okay, so as you know, this lesson is brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. And there is the email address that you will need should you want to get hold of me or your parents wish to get hold of me. Right. So today, grade threes, we are going to be looking at measurement. Measurement. Well, there's all sorts of measurement. We can measure time. We can measure length or distance. And we can measure mass or how heavy something is. And then we can measure, measure capacity, which deals with how much a container can can have in it. For instance, a jug, how much water or flour or sugar can we put into a container and that is capacity. But today we're going to introduce length right from the very start. And again, I'm going to emphasize that we're starting at the beginning so that we don't leave any information out at all. Right, so let's get on with measurement length. Okay, so what are we going to learn today, grade threes? Well, we're going to learn what a millimeter, a centimeter, and a kilometer or a kilometer looks like. We're going to learn what are the units of measurement we use to measure length. In other words, centimeters, millimeters, and kilometers, which are called units of measurement. And where we use those, we're going to learn the relationship between millimeters, centimeters, and kilometers and how we can make them shorter and, and write them in a shorter form. And then we're going to use a ruler to measure length and learn how to do this accurately. So, but the first thing I wanted to talk about is what is the difference, guys, between length and width? So I've said to you, what is the length of this table and what is the width of this table? So what I try and remember is that length starts with L, so it's the longer side. And that's how I remember that, okay? And then, of course, the other side is the width. So now we know what the difference is between the two of them. Now, what's important to actually also understand grade threes is it's no good me telling you that a centimeter um, is the same as 10 millimeters or that one meter is the same as a thousand millimeters and so on. That's no good just learning that unless you know what each of these distances or measurements look like and this is what I teach my children in class. So I will start off with a centimeter and um, let me just find my magic pen. I'm going to start off with a centimeter and um, show you that it is actually the width of your little pinky. Okay, so it is the width of your little pinky. It's going across and we needed to know what width meant so that you know it's not the length of your little pinky. It is the width of your little pinky. All right, so it's measured from that side to that side. Got it? Well done. So that is approximate. If I hold my little pinky up like this, guys, that's what it looks like. Okay, it's the width across from there to there. Right, so now we're going to look now. That's a centimeter. What about a millimeter? A millimeter. Now, when we talk about millimeters, we think of something really tiny, don't we? Yes, so a millimeter is the measurement of a point of your pencil. Okay, so it's that little point there of your pencil. It's a sharp pencil, so it is, that is what a millimeter looks like. Right, so now, now that we've looked at that, let's have a look now at what a meter looks like. So in your head, I want you to copy and paste these pictures in your head. So the minute I say one centimeter, you're going to think it's my pinky with my little pinky like this. Okay. The minute I say one millimeter, you're going to think of 
a tiny little point of your pencil. That's how, that's the size of a millimeter. It will fit, a pencil will fit into the width of a millimeter. And one meter, guys, is a big, big step for you. It's not such a big step for me or mom and dad, but for you, it's a big step. Right, so it's a large stride. And a kilometer, so there it is over there, a kilometer is a thousand of these strides. Okay, so a kilometer, let me have a look and show you, is a thousand of those. Right, so it's often if we have to, to uh, ride to the shop or, or something like that. It's just around the corner or we go around the block a few times or you run around your field at school, your hockey field a few times. That would be one kilometer. So you need to know what these are all the time. Now we've got that out the way. Let's have a little look at something of some of this in more detail. So we know that a centimeter is the width of your pinky finger. A millimeter is the little point of your sharp pencil and a meter is one large stride or about the same height as a kitchen counter. About, I said, right. So we're going to go and look now and find things in your house that measure the following. Okay, so firstly, you're going to go and find something in the house that measures a millimeter, which is a your pencil point okay so you might want to take a pencil point and go and find something that measures that tiny little millimeter right then you're going to go and and pick up your little pinky finger and you're going to go and see what you can find in the house that is the same measurement of one centimeter or one of your pinkies and then you're going to go and measure something like your carpet or the length of your room or your veranda or something like that by big strides. So what we're going to do now is we are going to, you're going to uh, pause this video and you're going to go and do that. And when you've done that, you've written it down or maybe you've remembered it in your head and you can come back and let me know. Okay, so pause the video now and go and find something that's one millimeter, something that is one centimeter, and something that is one meter long, or a few meters long. Maybe you can measure your carpet, and that's three meters long. That's absolutely fine. Remembering that it's, a, um, it's the width of your pinky, point of a pencil, and a big stride of yours. So pause the video now. Right, grade three. So now you are back with me. Okay, so we are going to now have a look and see if you manage to find something fun. And I'm going to tell you what I found. So the first thing that I found was this, is the same width as your pinky finger is the width of my toothbrush at the bottom. Okay, so where is it? It's at the bottom. Over there. Right. Then, the next thing I looked for was something that was the same width as a pencil point. And I found a syringe, or point of a needle. Right, and then the same length as a large stride, and I found my husband's golf club was about a meter. Some are more, some are less, depending on how tall you are. Right, so that was measuring stuff in our house. But grade threes, we can't go measuring things in how my stride and your stride and someone who's much taller and got longer legs, big strides, and, and some people's pinky fingers are tinier than others or bigger or fatter than others. So we have to have a definite systematic way of measuring stuff that is universal, that we all use across the world. Otherwise, we're going to measure things all incorrectly. So I want to give you a little look at this now. And you're going to see how I'm going to compare now what a centimeter is. Now, this isn't really a centimeter. I've obviously enlarged it. Remembering that a centimeter is the width of your pinky finger. But I want you to see that in 
this centimeter here, you will find that there are 10 millimeters. Now this here is a millimeter. Can you see that? Right, that is a millimeter. So I'm going to cut it in that little millimeter, if I can, as neatly as I can. There it is, in there. Whoops, no, that's not good enough. We don't want to use that one. Let's use something smaller. I'm going to use a pen to do it. There we go. In there is what that millimeter looks like. All right, so you now can see that there are 10 millimeters and one centimeter. Let's count from one, two, three, four, five. And when we get to five millimeters, guess what? That's half a centimeter. Then we carry on six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So one centimeter is the same as 10 millimeters. You need to remember that too. Now we're going to look at centimeters, millimeters, and meters. But once again, here we're going to look, and I've, I've, I've already shown you this, that one centimeter is, is the same as 10 millimeters. There it is. But I also want to show you that um, here, guys, is a, a long ruler, right? This is one meter. Now pretend that that's one meter. It's hard for you to imagine. And if I was in the classroom with you, we'd be working with meter rulers and, and, and um, tape measures and all sorts of things. But I can't do that right now. So I wanted to just show you that. Let's look at now one meter and how it compares with centimeters and millimeters. Right, so if we count here, we can see we're jumping in tens, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now, one meter is the same as 100 of these, 100 centimeters, right? So, we're going to now count. So, I'm going to change my pen now. And let me see what I'm going to do. I will take a just a normal pen. And we're going to count. We've counted now is 10 centimeters, 20, 30. Oh, sorry, let me start that again. Right, and that there is so we're going to, that was now looking at 5 centimeters. I forgot to tell you that. So half of, of, of that 10 centimeters is obviously 5. Now we're going to jump in 10s. 10, 20 centimeters, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 80, 90, 100. So there we have one meter is the same as 100 centimeters. But what about millimeters? Remembering that that there, grade threes, is a millimeter. There, okay? And 10 of those, 10 of these is the same as one of these, right? So yes, there are a thousand of these little things, little millimeters in one meter. And um, yes, you need to go and practice that. And maybe when, when you're in the classroom, you'll be able to do some really great practical work involving uh, centimeters, millimeters, and meters. Next step. Let's have a look now. At centimeters and millimeters and closer. Oh no, we're going backwards. What is going on? Right, next one. But the gremlins today. Now we talk about units of measurement and units of measurement are your centimeters, meters, millimeters and kilometers and we use each one for different sizes of things. So the question here is, which unit of measurement would you use to measure the following objects? Well, here's a table, and it's not a very big table. So I'm going to drag the unit of measurement from the box down the bottom, and I'm going to put it in the correct place. Um, can I use kilometers? No, because kilometers is what I use to travel longer distances. Remember I said if you run around the block a couple of times or around your sports field at school a few times or you drive from Cape Town to Durban or Cape Town to Pretoria 
or something like that or from your province to another province or from your home to school that's what you use kil kilometers for so i'm going to move this one here to get our kilometers and some people call it kilometers and some people say kilometers all right so there is where our kilometers fit in where we are on a map if we're looking for where to go and we use a map that's where we would see kilometers on there okay let's go to this one now I, i'm going to do the table just now this is a netball field i think or is it yeah or is it a hockey field could be either and a netball field on a hockey field we would definitely use meters so we'd go striding across to actually measure how big that is and then this table is less than a meter so we'd use centimeters to put that one up there and then a little paper clip is little so we'd use millimeters to measure that one right so each unit of measurement has it's got a specific purpose you could actually also use centimeters here because you might find that that um, little paper clip could be two centimeters or one and a half or maybe three <clears throat> okay so now very important and this i have to remind my kids in my class all the time you have got to be very careful how you measure with a ruler you can't measure at um, you can't measure from the edge of the ruler, guys, all right? You can't measure from here. You can't measure from that little section there. And I've been told, and I think it's the, the truth, that in actual fact, that little area there actually is, is a little space after the end of a ruler to stop us from measuring when our ruler gets all cracked and bits come off the end and it gets a bit rough so we always guys we always start at the naught right at the naught line that's where we start and we put our ruler that naught line is where we put our ruler at the beginning of whatever we are going to measure otherwise your measurement is going to be way out so remember that because it's important. Right. So now what we can do is we are going to measure this piece of cardboard or whatever it might be. Remembering to start at the north line. And there I put a, an arrow showing where the north line because this particular measuring ruler doesn't have the north on it. But you just have to assume that the north is there. So let's go and measure this. Let's go and see. So watch, there's my naught line. Not my one. Okay, not at the end of your ruler, but on the naught. What can you see? Over here. Yes, I hope you can see on the screen. That is 10 centimeters. Right, it's 10 centimeters. Right, so if it's 10 centimeters, then grade three is how many millimeters is it? Right, well done. So if there are 10 millimeters and one centimeter, then we have to count in tens. Right, so let's count in tens over here and see what, what we can do. I'm going to count in tens now. And let's go. So here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 a hundred okay so 10 centimeters is 100 millimeters 100 millimeters well done right on to the next slide you're getting better and better so that was the length of the ruler remembering that the length is always longer and the width let's show where the width is well the width is over here down there width and length remember it starts with an l so it is longer the length okay now we are now going to measure the width of this this shape okay so now i've had to turn my ruler upside down remembering again i'm going to not start at the end of the ruler because that ruler might have just got a bit chipped and cracked i'm not going to start at the one i've got to start at the zero we know that this ruler doesn't have a zero so we've got to assume 
that that's a zero. It just makes common sense. And now, can you see? Can you see where we have um, measured up to? Right. So we've gone from there to there, and that is four centimeters. Wow. Let's fill it in. Four centimeters. But if it's four centimeters, you've got to multiply it by ten because then it's forty millimeters. So four little pinky fingers would fit in there, but 40 little sharp pencil points would also fit in there. So well done, guys. I know you're just getting all this perfectly fine. So now I'm going to use this metric ruler to help us answer this question. What is the length of this line segment? We're going to do this again. Um, use this ruler again. So I'm going to start right uh, oh, oh, no, wrong. That's, is that the right spot? No. Is that the right spot to start at one? Uh, uh, uh. We're going to start at zero. Okay. We're going to start at zero. Now, I'm measuring this segment. Can you see something, grade threes? Can you see that we have come between five and six? Can you see that? We've come between the 5 and the 6. So what does that mean then? That means that we have measured 5 and a half centimeters. Right. 5 and a half centimeters. Right. So I'm going to write that in with my pencil, my pen. So 5 and 1 half centimeters okay and what is five and a half centimeters in millimeters well what's five centimeters so five times ten is fifty plus another five if you have a look here you'll be able to see that um, you'll be able to see that there is your little five centimeters can you see that so that is five not it's half a centimeter so what are we going to write here? 50 plus 5, which is 55 millimeters. Right, super. Very good. Okay, now we're going to look at equivalent, um, let me plonk myself up here, equivalent measures. So now I'm going to start looking at this, guys. Let's have a look, see, again, okay, refreshing your memory, that this here is one centimeter this here one centimeter and this here is one millimeter okay and that this is what it looks like your pinky one centimeter and this is what it looks like when you are measuring one millimeter and here we have our one meter, which is a hundred centimeters, and a thousand millimeters. Right, so let's have a look. See, so one millimeters, let's have a look at millimeters now. One millimeter, sorry, that shouldn't have an S there, should it? That should be one millimeter. Oh, no, it should be, yes, of course it should. So, how many millimeters is the same as? one centimeter well it's 10 millimeters it's the same as one centimeter you can have a look in the picture and you'll understand how many centimeters is the same as one meter yes a hundred centimeters the same as one meter i want to show you something and you can see how my centimeters here have spelt been spelled slightly differently this is the american spelling over here just to keep you informed um all right so this here is the american spelling which is e-r-s and this here is the south r spelling which is r-e-s right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to see if i can just get rid of this and we can just focus only on our spelling but that was an interesting thing for you to take note of so here we go 10 millimeters is the same as one centimeter a hundred centimeters, guys, is the same as one meter. 
Well, how many millimeters in two centimeters then? Oh, well, two centimeters times 10 is 20. How many centimeters is the same as two meters? Right, yes, absolutely it is. I need to just correct that. Okay, so two centimeters is the same as 2,000 centimeters is the same as two meters. Right, and how many millimeters in one meter then? I should have probably done this one first, shouldn't I? Okay, so let's think about that. Let's think about doing that one first rather. So 1,000 millimeters is the same as one meter, so therefore 2,000 centimeters. 2,000 centimeters is the same. Oh, Mrs. Harmon, you're making such a mess up here. Oopsie daisy. Right. What am I saying? Let's just take these things away now. Oops. Put that up there. Let's start that again. My brain is not working well today. Do you ever have days like that, grade threes, where your brain doesn't work? So I'm going to start all over again. Right. How many millimeters? At least we get to revise this. How many millimeters in a centimeter? Yes, 10. How many millimeters in two centimeters? 20, obviously. How many millimeters in one meter? 1,000. That's what I should have been doing. It's just keep in the green and just keep it sensible. How many centimeters in one meter? All right. How many centimeters are there in two meters? Right. Well, if there's 100 centimeters in one meter, then there are 200 centimeters in two meters. Remembering that centimeter is 10 times bigger than a millimeter. Now, I put this one in red, grade threes, because it's not something that you can picture in your head because it's hard for you to picture what one kilometer really means. But I just want you to know that you'll have to walk ten, a thousand big strides of yours to do one kilometer, almost. And then you would have covered one kilometer. So if you do one big stride times a thousand, that is what a kilometer is. So 1,000 meters is the same as one kilometer. Right, using units of measurement again. All right, here we go. Drag this unit of measurement to, to the correct item. So how would I measure a, what, what the width of a coin is? It would be meters? Would it be kilometers? Nope. It would be millimeters, that's right, because it's quite small. And again, kilometers would be what I'd use to travel across a country or travel from home to school or travel from, from Durban to Peter Maritzburg or from Cape Town to George. And then I would use centimeters to measure the length of a crayon and I would use meters to measure the length of a car. Is that making sense now? Okay, perfect. And guess what? That brings us to the end of our length lesson. So I hope this makes a lot of sense to you, grade threes, because you really should be using rulers and tape measures to go and measure things, because that's real learning. But because we can't do that at the moment, I thought this was probably going to be the best way to introduce length to you, so that you get a good picture of it. Remember how I told you, you learn through looking and you have your eyes and your ears and listening of course and your heads, and your minds working all together to learn effectively. So don't forget to go and do your worksheet which is based on the video and then mark it with your memo page um, and I hope you've understood everything. Let me know if you haven't and I can always help you. So all that is left for me to say, grade threes, is a goodbye from me to you and hoping that your rest of your day is jolly and happy and fun and that you stay healthy and you are kind to each other. So from me, Liz, a really warm goodbye.